Happy Tuesday. We are up in Zavina and we are finally tackling this south wall. We are on the side of the property and wow, that's a big boy. We are going to be demolishing this entire wall, not today, but this week, um, and rebuilding it out of rock um, because you can really see that it's uh, there were several trees growing here for a minimum of 20 years and you can see how much it has sort of been pulled out and away from the wall. Um, there's a bunch of lamination going on which basically means limestone starts to split and starts to um, become like break over time. And so we're digging this out and we're gonna be, we're also digging out uh, the entrance to the basement. Say hi Luca. Hi. hi. Um, we're digging out the entrance to the basement because water has just been able to just flow in here for god knows how long um and then we're going to be putting some supports under here to help hold up this beam when this wall comes down um and then we're going to be laying some fresh concrete underneath and then rebuilding this wall so this is going to be a huge project and these are the stack of rocks that luca just pulled out by hand with a out of this ground so yep got a nice big old trench here so this is all we're gonna do for today you can see how much we had to, to dig down that's actually the bottom of this is actually the bottom of the wall so um, we'll then have to dig down once we demolish this wall then we'll have to dig down another 60 centimeters which is kind of a bummer but we finally did it just gotta kind of push through this is not a fun job and uh, this is the job that everybody told us would suck and they were right, but I mean, this is a good three, two meters, so yeah. So we're in the middle of demolishing this wall. Look at all these big old rocks. So we thought that we would take a second to explain exactly why we're demolishing these walls. And I'll talk a little bit about limestone. This is a sedentary, limestone is sedentary stone. So that means that it's basically millions of years of compacted sediment that makes these like lines. It, it has these tendencies to crack horizontally. So over time, you can see in these rocks that there's lots of these little lines. This is called something called laminating. And so these might look like big old rocks, but when you start to take them apart, they really like fall apart. So like this one just kind of like fell apart in my hand. Luca, would you like to do a demonstration of what happens when you- When I get the one? Well, there's a big one right here, so. So when you, look. He just pulled that. That's all he had to do. And it fell apart like a puzzle piece in his hand. These, and yeah. So when you smack them, they just kind of disintegrate. Even though this was a really big stone at one point, it is no longer. So what we're doing is we are getting to the part of this wall where there's a bunch of lamination, which is why we had decided to demolish it. And as we're taking apart the rocks and figuring out which ones we're gonna rebuild with, we're basically smacking them against each other to figure out which ones are still good and which ones are not. So, and the ones that are good are gonna go into this pile and then this is gonna be used as some sort of paver over there um, under our pergola. So that's your, that's your daily lesson in uh, limestone walls.
new phone, who dis? Uh, I got a new phone and so my camera should be way nicer. Um, it is Saturday, it's actually a holiday and we are here at Zavina. We are rebuilding this wall today. Uh, this concrete's been curing. Oh, Luca just took the tarp off. So the concrete down there has been curing for over a week. Um, that was for the best, but also Luca has been in recovery from an injury at work. So, and the weather was terrible, which just so happened to coincide at the same time. So we took a week off and now we're rebuilding this lovely wall. And so we're gonna time lapse it today. We might interject with a few commentary or whatever, but uh, mostly you'll just get to see some cool old style building today. This is very old world. Um, this isn't done very often. There's very few people in the country that even know how to do this. And after today, we will be one of them. Wish us luck. Okay, my love, can you explain to the internet what you're doing? building a reference on each side so then I can string across to then have a template for building the wall. Yes, sir. So a little bit about rock walls, <clears throat> unlike concrete walls, unlike CMU block concrete modular unit walls, you are not building it straight up and down. You are building it at an angle and that basically creates a very small wider at, and narrower at the top so that you're creating a nice base. And so, um, it creates it, uh, it helps it stay structural over hundreds and hundreds of years. So Luca is currently building a little reference for himself so that he can make sure that he is following the right shape. And this little yellow thing, see if I can do that. Ah, yes, the yellow, this thing that just fell onto the ground. It's using our best friend gravity for him to basically tell him where the center is. So that's how a little bit about rock walls. <laughs> 